Hi. We got a puppy. Puppy alert. I gotta film a video. Okay. Okay. We're done? Okay, we're done. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Rocky. And today I wanted to do a quick video reviewing what is in my bag. Before we get started, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I do luxury unboxings, luxury bag reviews, and cover topics that are currently trending in the luxury designer community. If any of those topics seem interesting to you, please make sure to hit the subscribe button below and like the videos that you enjoy. They would really help me with my channel at no cost to you. Now, let's go ahead and get started. The bag that I am currently using at the moment, the summer, it is the Louis Vuitton Sac Plat. Now, this is a vintage item that I picked up about a month ago. I didn't do an unboxing of this because I hadn't started my channel yet. Uh, however, if you are interested in me doing a quick review of this, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. I grabbed this bag because I thought it would be a nice switch up. If you can see, I actually, most of the bags that I have are Louis Vuitton key balls. I'm a huge fan. I carry them to work and to the gym. They served as a dual purpose when I was able to go to work and to the gym and leave my house. Uh, regardless, so I thought I would downsize a little into this kind of tote sack plat. I like to carry similar items in all of them, and these are the items that I really consider to be essential no matter where I am. To start off the video, the first item that I have are sunglasses. I feel like sunglasses are essential no matter the season you are in. They can always come in handy, always a great fashion accessory as well. Because I like to carry really large bags around with me, one of the things I always try to have is a lint roller. I wear a lot of black and dark colors and this comes in handy all the time to make sure I have no lint or dog hair on me, making sure I stay fresh. Car keys. Garage door opener. This is a hand cream from the brand L'Occitane. I first heard about these from my mom. She had them uh, when I was growing up, I didn't think much of them. I started to get more into the brand when I went to Paris for my birthday. The cosmetic and toiletries that were in the bathroom were all of this brand, and that's when I really started to pay attention. I really like the way they made my hands feel. I'm not crazy about the scent. This is the original scent, but it's a really great formula, great product, and they're small enough for me to transfer them between all of my bags and even some of my pouches. This is my work cell phone. I usually carry two phones with me, my work cell phone and my personal phone. I'm currently filming on my personal phone. I have the iPhone 11 Pro. I have these on me at all times to make sure that I am being able to take care of my clients off, out of business hours and making sure I'm on top of things. That one was for my boss. If you're watching, I'm always on top of things. Comb. So if you haven't seen my last videos below, you'll notice that I used to have a beehive on the top of my head. I recently got a fresh cut thanks to one of my good friends who did me a solid and was able to get me in at his house and cut my hair. I was starting to look a little castaway-ish, uh, so I was able to get in. Here in Chicago, we're still not in the phase where barbershops can open up, so I always had this on me to make sure I look somewhat presentable. Where would we be without our handy-dandy Mass, this has become our new normal and an essential. I try to keep a couple of these in my bag so I make sure I'm not caught without them in case I wanna go into a grocery store whenever I'm out. Along with that, hand sanitizer. Now, I always carried these on me. I buy them in bulk or used to buy them in bulk. They were like a dollar, two dollars in the Target travel section. They have a little loop on them. With my bags that have a D-ring, I would like to kind of clip them on there and use them as I may, now more so than ever. So if you can get a hold of one of these, I would recommend keeping hand sanitizer on you. They come in, they come in handy. Now, an item that is not necessarily new to me, I also didn't do an unboxing about this item because I didn't have a channel yet, but this is one of my favorite items. This is the Louis Vuitton clay pouch. Uh, so it's a, it's a key pouch. This is Virgil's first collection with Louis Vuitton. This is a runway piece, really hard piece to get a hold of. I knew I, I had to have it the moment I saw the collection drop. I was lucky enough to have a great relationship with my Louis Vuitton sales associate where he was able to secure one of these for me. Unfortunately, I have to be honest, I never used it until now. I couldn't find a use for it since this chain is permanent and it hangs on the outside of the, the clay. Uh, until now, I just use it as a card holder and I've been pretty happy with it. 
Another item that I am a, a big fan of that I've recently discovered is the Glossier Balm.com uh, Skin Salve. Now, I use this as a lip balm. I believe you can use it on different parts of your skin that are dry. I've been on a hunt for a lip balm or chapstick that actually won't dry out my lips and will keep them hydrated throughout the rest of the day. This is for sure the one. I bought it in multiple flavors and scents. I would recommend it if you haven't checked it out yet. Now an item an item that I'm not sure a lot of people carry in their bags is a notebook. This is a small little larger than pocket size notebook. I actually got this item as a test run because I wanted an excuse to buy the Louis Vuitton agenda in the PM size. However I do have a key rule where I won't purchase a luxury item unless I know that I'm going to use it. I think it's pointless to have items that I won't have in my rotation or have no use for. So I thought I would give it a run I've used it and I've actually loved it. So now I definitely am going to make sure I get my hands on a Louis Vuitton agenda in the PM size. One of the last items that I try to incorporate in all of my bags where it can fit is the Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch 15. If you haven't seen my review of the Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch 26, I'll make sure and leave a link somewhere in the video uh, or in the description below. This is an item that I started off with and I slowly upgraded to collect all of them. It's a great catch-all and overall just organizer for any of my large bags. I like to keep uh, loose cash on me because I tend to always carry credit cards and whenever I need it, I don't have it. So this is a great way to keep receipts. I keep baby wipes, uh, tissue. I have band-aids, I'm pretty clumsy. So I always like to keep one to make sure. Uh, I also have a small cologne or perfume sample in there. So it's just a little toiletry bag that I use as a catch-all. Um, the material is really durable. I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple of reviews of these as well. If you wanna check those out, make sure to subscribe to the channel below. All right, guys, and that's pretty much all that I carry in my bags on an essential basis. So these are the items that I would make sure that I carry with me at all times that I find myself reaching for and needing the most. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Again, it really helps the channel. I just started it off. Please leave your comments below. I love interacting with people. Let me know what items I miss that you think are essential, what items you actually use. If you, if you have any of them, please let me know. Also, I decided to shoot in a new location. This is the inside of my closet. If you've seen my other videos, I was shooting in my living room. I figured it was a little bit more clean. This just is a little busy for me. But since my channel is all about fashion and luxury bag and reviews, I figured this would be a little bit more appropriate. Please let me know your thoughts on the lighting and the background. I would appreciate it. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at a boy named Rocky. I've had a couple people DM me there who've liked the videos and given me opinions and their thoughts on items that I've purchased. I love meeting new people and getting a chance to interact with people who've seen my videos. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys.